Approximately 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, and the oceans contain around 96.5% of all the water on Earth. Surprisingly, there is potential to harness this water for energy. Welcome back to the exciting world of Infinite Innovations Tech. In today's video, we're diving into Toyota's game-changing revelation, a water-powered engine set to shake up the automotive industry. This innovation could be the next big thing, giving electric vehicles a run for their money. Hold on to your seats as Toyota unveils a revolutionary engine that might turn the electric vehicle, EV, seen on its head. Imagine a water-powered engine disrupting the norm and challenging the current EV market. Toyota's latest creation shares traits with their fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVs, and hydrogen-powered engines, promising a shift that could redefine how we view eco-friendly transportation. Water engines have been a dream throughout car history, offering advantages over regular engines and EVs. With its ample resources and rigorous testing, Toyota stands out from previous attempts. Unlike makeshift setups on limited budgets, Toyota's water engine has the potential to be a game-changer. Suppose you have a water engine functioning like an HHO generator tailored for everyday use. It's reminiscent of the hydrogen combustion engine in the Toyota Yaris GRH2, but with a crucial twist. With that being said, instead of using pre-processed hydrogen, Toyota's water engine separates hydrogen from oxygen through a chemical reaction. Electrolysis is employed to separate H2O molecules, and high voltages are emitted from the electrodes in the water tank to achieve this separation. Unlike traditional FCEVs and hydrogen combustion engines that require heavily armored and weighty tanks, Toyota's water engine doesn't face the same challenge. Since the hydrogen is contained within the water when stored in the tank, there's no need for bulky and heavy containers. Powering the vehicle begins after the hydrogen is separated from the oxygen. The hydrogen is then directed to the engine, which combusts like compressed natural gas, CNG. Overall, the functioning of the water engine aligns with the principles seen in CNG-powered engines, offering a promising alternative in the automotive landscape. A water-powered engine must adapt fuel injectors for compressed gas and reinforcing components like cylinder heads, pistons and valves. Hydrogen, being highly combustible, demands more robust and secure elements to ensure safety. Despite these requirements, the long-term benefits to the environment are substantial. Firstly, a water-powered engine is nearly emission-free, comparable to regular internal combustion engines and more convenient than electric vehicles. Refueling is straightforward as long as there's access to diluted water and the cost is minimal. Additionally, the reliance on oil extraction diminishes, especially if the water engine becomes widespread. Heavy machinery or large power production units might still use fossil fuels, but their impact would be significantly reduced. Furthermore, the water engine eliminates the need to extract rare metals from the earth, which pollutes water sources and the surrounding soil. This is particularly relevant, as it makes the immediate area around mining sites uninhabitable. Water engines are superior to hydrogen combustion engines and fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVs, which are marketed as zero emission vehicles. Storing water requires little effort while storing hydrogen alone, demands specific conditions, constant monitoring, and significantly more investment. Hydrogen, in its pure form, is challenging to contain and can easily escape, requiring armored tanks and regular maintenance. In contrast, the fuel tank for water-powered vehicles could be any plastic container, offering a more practical and environmentally friendly solution. Storing hydrogen outside the car presents challenges requiring ideal temperature conditions and robust, costly containers. On the other hand, distilled water, a key component for water-powered engines, is readily available in supermarkets or can be produced at home with basic chemistry knowledge. Acquiring hydrogen in its pure form is an expensive process and its storage complications have hindered its widespread adoption. The high costs associated with producing and storing hydrogen have impacted consumer prices, raising questions about the viability of hydrogen cars compared to electric vehicles and fossil-fueled vehicles. Despite being environmentally friendly and logistically simple in theory, the practicality of water engines for daily use is a crucial consideration. Water engines are indeed practical for daily use. 
Contrary to misconceptions, they are not underpowered, offering performance on par with most gasoline engines. In theory, they can even be designed to generate up to three times more energy, megajoule, than gasoline engines. Safety is a significant advantage, as no highly combustible fuels are constantly stored in the car, eliminating concerns about potential fires or explosions. Moreover, water engines are easy to produce, featuring relatively simple mechanical designs that are only slightly more intricate than regular gasoline engines. Their simplicity makes them more cost-effective to manufacture than EVs and fuel cell electric vehicles. Due to these characteristics, water engines could be an ideal option for developing countries with limited resources and insufficient oil reserves. An Iranian scientist successfully converted his Peugeot 405 to run on water, showcasing the practicality and success of water-powered engine technology. Imagine the possibilities for Toyota with proper funding, considering that even an individual in a shed successfully created a daily drivable water-powered car. Beyond being easy to produce, water-powered engines are highly economical compared to gas-powered and electric vehicles. An example is the Peugeot 405, which averages between 30 and 40 miles per gallon of water, achieving impressive fuel efficiency that surpasses the capabilities of the base petrol engine used in the car. The potential for water-powered engines extends to achieving 80-plus miles per gallon without sacrificing performance. This makes them environmentally friendly and economically advantageous in terms of running costs. However, Despite these promising aspects, the future of water engines is more complex. Water engines, while theoretically promising, face various challenges. As the engine technology remains experimental, logistical issues arise, with many prototypes being deemed unreliable and offering mediocre daily usability. While minimal adjustments may be needed for the infrastructure, addressing the reliability and practicality of water engines is essential before considering them as the future of vehicles. Currently, mainstream versions of this engine type still need to be improved, and few car manufacturers actively pursue its development. The potential of water engines hinges on overcoming these challenges and achieving a level of reliability and efficiency that can rival or surpass existing automotive technologies. Additionally, using water as fuel raises concerns about the car's safety. When water is divided into hydrogen and oxygen, the difficulty of containing hydrogen becomes a potential safety hazard. Even a tiny leakage in the system could pose significant dangers, potentially leading to fatal consequences. Furthermore, if Toyota were to develop a reliable and safe water-powered car, there is speculation about potential resistance from lithium mining companies, battery producers, and oil companies. Using water as a fuel could substantially reduce the reliance on fossil fuels in daily life and diminish the need for mining rare and expensive elements like cobalt and lithium. This shift in energy sources could disrupt and challenge some of the most profitable companies globally, including Rio Tinto. Companies might go to great lengths to discourage the further development of water-powered engines. Rumors suggest that similar efforts were made about 25 years ago, when Stanley Allen Meyer invented the first fully functioning water-powered car. Meyer claimed to have faced constant danger and threats from individuals likely associated with oil companies. He was allegedly offered millions to destroy his vehicle and abandon the plans for it. He passed away under suspicious circumstances, despite Meyer's vocal opposition to large oil conglomerates. While official records cite a brain aneurysm as the cause of death, there is ongoing dispute with claims that he was poisoned. Shortly after his death, his car and the plans for the engine were reportedly stolen from his garage, never to be recovered. As much as the idea of Toyota pursuing a water-powered engine is appealing, it is still being determined whether it will happen anytime soon. Even if Toyota is working on such an engine, it is likely happening in secrecy, as there have been no official confirmations on the project. While the concept of a water-powered engine presents intriguing possibilities for a more sustainable future in transportation, it is fraught with challenges. Safety concerns related to hydrogen containment, potential resistance from established industries, and historical instances of suppression cast doubt on the immediate feasibility of such technology. 
The story of Stanley Allen Myers serves as a cautionary tale, emphasizing the potential roadblocks faced by those pioneering alternative energy solutions. Although the vision of water-powered engines remains an enticing prospect for environmental enthusiasts, the reality of its implementation on a large scale may require overcoming significant obstacles, both technological and systemic. As of now, Toyota's potential development of a water-powered engine remains shrouded in secrecy, leaving the future of this innovative concept uncertain. Only time will reveal whether this bold idea can emerge from the shadows and contribute to a more sustainable and eco-friendly automotive landscape. Well, that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.